We'll take uh, questions for Coach Sumlin. What clicked tonight in the game? Excuse me? What went right tonight in the game? What did you guys do differently this game that led to all this success? Um, well, I think we've had moments. Um, you know, the, the, we really talked about four quarters because we played pretty well in two quarters of games, second half of games, first, I mean, three quarters of game. Um, but we talked about playing four quarters and seeing what happens and not playing a perfect game. You don't have to be perfect, but playing four quarters, and we did that. Can you just talk about the defense and their performance tonight as a unit? Yeah, I, I thought, um, you know, that uh, obviously we, we tackled well. Um, really didn't let the ball get over our heads for really big plays. Um, and, you know, with the really the exception of the busted coverage in in the first half over there, we, we cut a guy loose. We didn't have very many of those. We, you know, we got the running back underneath when we were in some drop eight situations and we really kept the ball in front of us. But I thought, you know, we, we rushed the, we rushed the passer pretty well, um, moved him off the spot when it made him a little bit uncomfortable because when he sits in there, he, he's got time. He's, he's something else, you know, but to move him around just a little bit off the spot was what we wanted to do and, um, force him to, um, not be comfortable. I thought our defense did that, but, um, obviously, you know, the, the, um, you know, the tackling was uh, probably as good as we've been all year. Um, and, and the coverage was too, and the mixture of, of zone and man-to-man and, -man and, and trying to get him off the spot. He's a heck of a player. Um, and, and, and I think that translated into what we've talked about here every week is third downs. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. So, um, but uh, again, I don't know what were they. Um, three of 16, right? So there you go. I mean, that's the, that's the story. When did you know that Khalil would be able to play? And do you think that a healthy Khalil provided a spark to your players tonight? Uh, I knew he was probably going to play. We practiced him. Uh, we walked through, really, did a little bit Monday. And then Tuesday, um, after practice, we talked. And he said he felt fine. Healthy Khalil provided a spark. Well, I mean, yeah, well, like, like I said, it was about playing four quarters. So, um, you know, we, whether uh, that was the case or not, I can't tell you. I mean, he, he's played before. So we haven't played four quarters. And I, it's, it's more to it than just him. And, you know, for us to play four quarters, because um, we've been, we've, like as I said, we've been in games where we've played a half or we've played three quarters, like even back to the first game, like a BYU. Um, but, you know, and it's been different times. It's been first, second, and fourth quarter. It's been third and fourth quarter, um, which are games he's been a part of. So uh, it's, a, it's a team effort. And, and you know, it, 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 him being back has nothing to do with how the defense play. What made the pass rush so successful tonight? Well, I think it's, it's been successful um, the last couple of weeks. You know, since PJ's been back there, I mean, he's been in the backfield. We, you know, we got a guy who's what second in the league for tackles for loss, and schooler. Uh, the difference is not that. It, the difference was probably the coverage and the tackling when they did get the ball out. So, you know, pressuring the quarterback has really it, 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 we can be better, but that hadn't been the issue. The issue has been if he gets the ball off, now what, right? And and then uh, coverage and tackling was as good as it's been all year. Did, did you think that Sean Brown should have gotten that uh, unsportsmanlike conduct, or did you think he was actually hit late after the touchdown? What's that? On the on the after the Sean Brown's touchdown. Um, I didn't see what he did, but I saw the I saw what happened during the play, and that's why my reaction was what it was. Is this a glimpse into what this program can become? I mean, this was fantastic. You guys just blew out a top twenty-five team here at home. Well, we, you know, that's what we want to be. So that's that's our goal, it to to be a top 25 team. And in order to do that, you've got to beat other teams in that in that range. So 
that's that's who we want to be and we got a ways to go but you know i think the 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 takeaway is that um is that for our players to to be a part of that and to see it um now i think they understand what that takes it's not just saturday night it's you know we're in the monday through friday phase but you know all that's for not cuz all everybody else is all everybody else sees is 3 hours and 20 minutes right so that's what you're judged on so your execution during those 3 hours and 20 minutes or whatever that is um it becomes important and um you know so now they understand what that looks like for four quarters and as we talked about today uh, in that locker room tonight it, it's about remembering the preparation remembering the execution for four quarters and what that takes and then the stay stay humble and and understand all right we've, we've, this is a big game it's homecoming i get it but you know we've got to stay hungry too and understand that you know we, we've got a lot of football left to play against some some other good teams and you know um, can we follow that up um, is the next challenge what can you say about JJ Taylor over 200 yards tonight over a thousand for the season finished with that you know yeah that leaping um, but it's like we said yeah, he's a great example to um, our younger players just about and just how he approaches his his daily life on and off the field um, the way he approaches the game um, he's a very very intelligent guy young man um, you know he's a guy that's a, a leader but uh, also is is a guy who can push other people he's a great example for this program and for what we want um, as a competitor uh, as a person, you know, and just how he approaches everything. And, and you know, uh, as you said, you know, he, he didn't have to leave his feet. You know, he had already rushed for whatever. The game was is where it was. And, you know, that's just that's just who he is. And, you know, and to be a kick returner and, and to do all that, you know, he's, you know, we had to get him out. He wasn't coming out. Yeah, I think there's one time that, that I looked at him and he was he he kind of looked at me like, hey, but he's he's got so much pride that he cares so much. Um, particularly when Gary left the game, he knew what was at stake and he said, I'll be fine. What was your reaction when he left this feed? Touchdown. Is he in? So. How impressed were you with the wide receivers, especially early on against uh, an athletic Oregon um, deep, a bunch of, bunch of defensive Well, players. I think, uh, you know, they don't get enough credit, as I said. You know, this this game was built around, um, I think, you know, the perimeter game of, of, the, of screens, um, you know, to get four or five yards and sometimes more, you know, 10, says a lot about their blocking for each other. I think you know that we were able to spread them out a little bit more because of uh the perimeter blocking and what the receivers did outside and um you know it, it, because that all that works hand in hand you know when you got a quarterback run game and you've got some screens out there and everybody's able to sit in the box and jam us up you know we got to be able to either you know, get down the field on some things or, or be able to throw a screen game to widen them out, spread them out. And I think that had a, a big effect on our run game. I know it did, you know, from run support and everything else. So all those things work together. You know, it, it gave us an opportunity for, you know, Khalil pulled it a couple times, um, which put some pressure on, on on the perimeter. But I think the first half being able to throw the, the, the screen game um, really created some space in there and some one-on-ones outside with, with blocks, and, and I thought they did a nice job of that. And, and that created some other opportunities from a run support situation and for, for J.J. And, and, you know, let's not, you know, I've, I've talked about it before, explosive plays are, aren't just one person. You know, we, we get a 9, 6, 11, 12-yard runs, that's one thing. But when you get 30, 40, 50-yard runs, those guys in the, on the perimeter are, are really working like crazy.
Was this the best special teams performance of the season, and what kind of an impact did that have on the game tonight? You mean because we blocked the punt? <laughs> um, I don't know. You know, um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. You know, I, I think that, uh, you know, we've made some changes in our, our kicking situation, and I think everybody's comfortable with that right now. Um, you know, I, I don't, just looking at the numbers from a punting situation, you know, um, I thought we were able to execute a couple times, but we knock it down inside the 10 a couple times to keep them, give them long fields. Um, so maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe that, that it is, you know, you're looking back and, um, you know, we, we've, we've continued to work at, at all areas there and, um, we've made some changes in personnel, obviously. And, you know, but again, Mike, it was, you talked about execution on, in all three phases for four quarters and, and, you know, that's, that's what it was about. Let's take one more question for coach. No okay, right, thank, thank you. you. Uh, Khalil, how did it feel to come back and put, put together a win like this? Uh, it felt good. You know, I, I think it was a long time coming. You know, we haven't been playing well all year, but, you know, it was the first time we actually played four quarters. And, you know, it showed in, in offensively and defensively, and we came out with the W. You said before that you, you always felt like you guys were really close. It was just a matter of kind of getting there offensively. Was that what we saw tonight? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, like I said, we haven't played four quarters all year. You know, and I think this game we played four quarters and we saw the outcome that we could get with four quarters of playing football. How did the week off help you physically? Uh, it helped a lot. You know, I was, I was banged up the past few weeks. So it was something I was playing through. But, you know, something can't get better if you keep playing on it. So, you know, I tried to take a break. And, you know, me and my coaches decided on that. And, you know, it worked for the best. Jake, uh, can you talk about that uh, last lead uh, thought process as you were going through the, that play? Uh, thought process was just to get in the end zone, make a play, and, you know, get the offense off the field. Your thoughts on your performance tonight, uh, over 200 yards? I uh, really don't have a thought for it. You know, um, Gary went out early, and I told him that, you know, he was going to finish the game off for him. So I wasn't thinking about anything else but my teammate. The plays being uh, compared to one by a previous U of A player named O.J. Jenkins, have you ever heard of him or heard of that leap by the late play? I've heard of it before. Yeah. Colin, how is it playing against your brothers? It's still really weird. I mean, but when we're out in the field and it's in between whistles, he's not my brother. So, I mean, getting over that is probably the hardest part. But I feel like he does the same thing. I mean, if he gets the ball, he's going to make me miss. If, he, if I'm running at him, I'm going to try to get him down. And that's just what's going on this week. Colin, what did you guys do right defensively tonight? I feel like we played really well on third down. Um, I think we're around three for 16 on third down conversions, and that's huge. That's a lot of momentum that we get, and we're not on the field for that long. So getting the offense <coughs> back on the field is our main goal. How did you attack differently on third down in previous games of the field? We just had to come together and make sure everybody does their job and that the energy's there and that we're wanting to get off the field and not just being okay with them getting a conversion. Did you sense you were frustrating Herbert quite a bit? No, I couldn't really tell that. Um, I feel like he kept his uh, his head up the whole entire time. He didn't really seem rattled at any point, and that's why he's going to be at the next level. JJ, when you broke into the clear um, on that run, I think it was in the third quarter of the 64-yarder. How conscious of you were? How conscious were you of what happened last week, where you got the, the ball put down? Uh, just to keep the ball, you know, give offense a chance to at least score, and you know, don't make stupid turnovers. Did you sort of feel like you needed to redeem yourself in any way, shape, or form this week after what happened last week? No, it was football. You're supposed to have short-term memory, so, you know, let that one go last week. Khalil and JJ, how impressed were you with your offensive line? <coughs> uh, I think we did well. You know, like I said, our, our biggest thing was playing four quarters of football, you know, all around in every aspect. You know, I think we haven't done that all year, and like I said, with the help of, you know, offense playing you know, pretty decent. You know, defense playing exceptionally well, getting turnovers for us. That helps a lot. You know, that helps us play four quarters of football, which we did. 
Colin, did you feel like you guys were capable of this all along and it was just a matter of when it would all come together? Definitely. Um, coming into the season, I had really high expectations for our defense, and I still do, and that's not going to change. And you're only as good as your last game, so we can't let this performance affect our future for the bad. Leo, what was uh, going through your mind when you see JJ make the flip? Uh, I, was, I was in shock. You know, I, I don't know. I think I've seen him do it before, uh, maybe against my team. I'm not sure. But, you know, it's something that I know he's capable of doing. You know, it helps a lot to have a guy as versatile as JJ to, you know, get in the end zone and help us out. Clearly, you hadn't missed a game in quite some time, and you made 15 straight starts heading into last week. What was it like having to watch from the sideline against UCLA? Uh, it was a different aspect, you know. That was my first time missing <clears throat> a game since in my whole football career, so that was something that was different for me to adjust to. But you know, I knew I had to come back and, and bounce back and help my team get a W. Time for another question. What happened on the play where um, Sean was so wide open there in the first quarter? Um, I, I don't know if it was a miscommunication on their part on defense, but uh, I was going to go to him to begin with, and it it just so happened that. The guy that was guarding him left, so it made my job a little easy. Was that long bomb on the first play? Was that already preset? Did you already have that in your mindset? Uh, it was something that we talked about earlier in the week. You know, something that we want to, uh, you know, get off our chest and uh, try to get. So what were the conversations like in practice leading into this game? It was just playing four quarters of football, and if we do that, then we'll be beating teams by uh, more than we were in the past. One more question. JJ, can you talk about passing a thousand yards rushing? And do you set goals of yards in the season for yourself? No, the only goal I have personally is you know to be successful as a team and win games as a whole. And that's my only goal. All right, thank you, everybody.